What's up guys, it's Maxwell today with CWL Invite Week 1 action against Mariana Trench. Okay, so as you can see, came away with the victory 114 to 111, so a 3 star win. Very nice um, start to the season for us. Let's get right into our best attacks as I'm going to talk about the breakdown. We are going to start things off at number 40 with Destroyer coming in for this one and absolutely smashing this base with um, a Gobo Lalo. So, um, yeah, for this war, both sides had 5 Town Hall 11s, 15 Town Hall 10s, and then 20 Town Hall 9s. So, uh, yeah, nice and heavy breakdown. So, certainly a fun one. And, um, yeah, let's get settled into this attack. So, Destroyer starting things off with. The cold blood opener right there, a couple of whizzies for funneling behind the golem. One loon is gonna tank, uh, take out that wizard tower right there, so nice touch on that. Very cheap to take out the wizard tower. The wizard is actually gonna help out as well. Um, so yeah, king, queen, in no, I think, does he even, ha even have bowlers for this one? I think he's a lava hound in the clan castle. Yeah, so only one lava hound in his camps, uh, so it's uh, not a go bowler. So no bowlers for this one. Uh, creativity points to destroyer for not using bowlers. Dragon from the clan castle is interesting as well. Um, Haste spell for those uh, three loons without a lava hound just to improve the pathing for La Luna, I guess, and make the queen not backtrack into the base, taking out um, the wizard tower and an arch tower, so good value. And yeah, there goes the max lava hound from the clan castle. Um, how he's gonna kill this queen? He's got a skelly spell, so he's gonna use that level four skeleton spell to take out queen while she is uh, distracted with the lava hound balloons, pups. All that good stuff. La Lune now in full effect. The queen is still alive actually, banging through a wall over there. And um, he's actually going to swag his three remaining spells. So yeah, as I said, he smashed this base and um, yeah, didn't even use half of his spells. So great job, the destroyer. On this one, we are going to speed through the rest of this replay. Three loons in the back as well. There goes the three swag spells in the middle of the base. Very nicely done. The little balloon parade as well. So... Yeah, great attack right here on number 40. And we are going to watch two more Town Hall 9 attacks, guys, and then we are on to Town Hall 10 and 11 action. So, yeah, there we go. We are going to move on up to number 25. Um, there we go right there. And Barbie is coming in for this one. Bringing the Queen Charge La Lune. Um, 10 minions, two baby dragons, so a lot of... Uh, Troops that don't only target buildings as well, so maybe sort of a TDH variation is what we can call this one. <laughs> I'm not quite sure, but um, not the A1 standard Queen Charge Laloon army. So let's see how he's going to use it right here, taking out those two mortars in the beginning. And then the baby dragon has created the funnel on the 3 o'clock corner for Queen to move towards 6 o'clock, obviously. King coming in to help out with some trash building slash funneling. Uh, also going to tank the Tesla, although that's not really significant. Use stability, so yeah, the king only used for um, some trash clearing in this attack. Queen is going to be what he is banking on. There goes the wall break, opening up the path towards that first air defense. Second air defense definitely going to follow up shortly. Wizard tower, first air sweeper. Everything now in reach for the queen as she is into that compartment. There comes the clan castle. We've got a bunch of goblins, baby dragon, and the Valkyrie. So high DPS clan castle, but the poison spell down in time is able to negotiate all the goblins. The sweeper was a little bit uh, tough right there to take. So he had to use a rage spell and his ability and a poison spell to get through all of that. Another rage spell going down for enemy queen. Another poison spell for her as well. So... He's going to be able to take her out, no problem whatsoever. Also gets the second, no, the third wizard tower, I guess, because there's only one wizard tower left in the base now. The third wizard tower out of the way, so that's down. And La Luna is now in full effect with the hay spells. Um, nice path thing, going to circle through this base in the clockwise fashion and converge on that 3 o'clock corner. So, um, yeah, there he goes. The max level lava hound is actually still alive just now. It is going to pop to uh, the expo and the rest of that air defense before that got taken out. Queen sort of stuck on the wall now, hanging back, not doing too much for the raid, but she's definitely going to survive. And that's always so valuable for cleanup because, yeah, she puts out so much damage and that's going to be the wrap for this base. So another very good one and certainly nice to watch as well. You guys know I love that text where it's nicely sectioned everything moving through the base together and that was certainly the case for this one. All right so we got that one out of the way as well and then we are going to check out number 22 right here where we have uh, Noah coming in 
with um, a stone hobo actually so got a ground attack in there as well just to please everybody uh no but this attack was pretty good so uh, definitely gotta check it out so there go a couple of fox to take out that first mortar the archer tower over here is distracted by the golem so that's of course nice because those hawks get a free shot they are actually going to take out that archer tower as well so some pretty cool funneling and that's also part of the reason why i wanted to watch this attack with you guys the first golem has popped but he's got two more full-size golems now verging in front and going to be able to tank the entire base two jump spells early on so you would have think uh, maybe he would have been able to break the first wall but um, he decided to not take any risks and just go safe with a couple of jump spells clan castle is already down queen is now going to go down as well the poison spell was sort of wasted there so a little bit late reaction on the poison spell but uh, nevertheless um yeah he's gonna be able to destroy this one not gonna need the poison spell later i guess i think the skeleton traps are set to air for the space as well i'm not quite sure we're gonna find out soon but um yeah I, th I don't think i saw skeletons watching this attack earlier so um yeah he was probably good to go to use that poison spell there but yeah a little bit earlier would have been nicer anyways a lot of troops left some hawks even for that tesla over there near the town hall and that's gonna be the wrap for this one nice job with yeah a huge amount of troops left again so three pretty powerful tunnel line techs i gotta say our tunnel lines performed very well again this war we had a bunch of scouts and i think we were um i don't want to say something wrong but i think we were 12 out of 13 in the early going for tunnel line hits all three stars so very solid job on that um, and with that we are on to tunnel 10 action starting off at number 20 obviously the lowest tunnel 10 in the war we have uh, bucket uh, with his ogre account coming in right here for the first 10v10 of this war we had four 10v10s this war so definitely a solid performance on that again um yeah although the bases by mariana trench were pretty good um pretty tough to laloon the bases so um yeah not the not the easiest uh war to pick up 10 v 10 spot got four anyways and i think that's pretty solid so um queen is going to be suicided over here at four o'clock taking out wizard and inferno tower and she's going to get that out of the way meanwhile the baby dragon has created the funnel for um the king i guess over there on the other side of the base lava hound is now out from the clan castle so yeah there goes the king with some war breakers gonna get um the air defense out of that compartment and the cannon as well which uh, should improve the laloon pathing a little bit and now we have three air defenses and three four haste spells actually being placed down before he places anything else so uh, this looking a little bit like the uh, dip attack <laughs> the dip attacks that i uh, like to perform on tunnel tens with my tunnel 11 account obviously so um uh, got yeah a lot of stuff taking out early skeleton spell kill on the enemy queen uh, the lava hound has now um come out and it's yeah sort of distracted on the skeletons um the loons sweeping through the base the uh, small targeting inferno tower is now down so the loons can be healed back up no spells left at this point so two wizard towers are going to be a little bit tough but he's just going to be able to eke them out get them down and smash this base um, very close in the end actually the skeleton traps um, on the balloons are definitely um yeah a little bit tough to take but um, it's just just going to work out i guess that doesn't matter whenever you get it done um so yeah the skeletons actually popped the lava on i think the lava on explosion uh got sort of got that arch tower out of the way so very close one over here but yeah tough base uh design and got it done anyway so nice job to him getting it done clean up very slow only a few pups and minions left for that but yeah was able to do it so that's gonna be it uh, for the three star on number 20 and up next is going to be number 19 already where we have uh, asap fabian coming in on lima with the b witch attack so um interesting one over here lures out the clan castle with the hawk rider and he's going to bring it to the corner actually with the good old archers and healer trick <laughs> take that out poison spell is going to kill the loon i'm assuming poison spell yeah there we go okay so poison spell is going to kill the loon and yeah the lava hound is out of the way for the rest of this raid um other than that 
he, as I already said, he's going to be Witched. He's actually going to be able to take out those Mortars with Archers and then the Mortar over there with a Bowler, the Mortar over there with the Loon. So all the Mortars dead, which definitely negotiates a lot of splash damage for this base. And that's nice for the B Witch attack because, um, yeah, splash damage pretty much the only threat, of course, to this attack strategy. And uh, he's taking that out. So there he goes um, in the corner. <laughs> so obviously, gotta avoid the lava hound with those witches. Uh, but uh, yeah, looking very good uh, as far as the pathing goes for his troops. Um, a lot of uh, bowlers and witches are going around the outside, which is, of course, what he wants. One of those bowlers got targeted by the cannon down there, but that's not really going to worry him. King Queen now in with the heal spell and all that good stuff. In the middle, taking stuff out. A couple of giant bombs already went off, but looks like he still has a couple of um, bowlers uh, healthy in there. I think all the witches are around the outside for this attack, which is definitely not what we usually see, but we have a, gi a giant tanking and the queen doing work inside the core. The worry is these uh, these uh, wizard towers over at the top. Queen is actually also going to get trouble with those cannons, so I'm going to be a little bit tough. And the wizard tower, take a look at those witches. They are all at like 1 HP or something. The bowlers taking out that last wizard tower was so valuable that actually got him the 3 star because the witches never got targeted after the queen was able to do some more work than I personally expected her to do as well. So that was the 10 versus 10 with the B witch attack. Um, we use it whenever we have to and we avoid it whenever we can. So um, in this case we had to use it and the lava hound was insignificant for the entire raid because the archer trick worked out nicely. Okay, so that was that one. Uh, up on to number 14. Okay, there we go. That's number 14 already, Maxwell. Okay, there we go. Um, Niklas with probably the, the sickest 10v10 we had this war. Uh, I remember watching this one. I really enjoyed it. So let's check it out together. Um, he's going to get started right now with, once again, archer on the mortar. So, yeah, maybe a little bit of a base design flaw. Um, but, uh, yeah. Two balloons able to take out the cannon mortar with that haste spell over there that's gonna get him started with the funnel. Nothing now sh gonna, gonna shoot the wizard and the wizard is gonna be able to take out some nice buildings over there. Um, King Queen in. King is taking everything. The Queen is gonna take out the Tesla, um, an arch tower and two wizard towers and the wall break is going to be able to allow her access into that compartment over there. Couple of hawks also helping out. I'm not really sure. Yeah, I guess those were necessary to get down the wizard tower in time just to have a bit more DPS. Queen was able to pop her ability, take out that expo, and then the inferno tower uh, was able to go down as well, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so the queen just outlasting the inferno tower, dying after. Um, La Lune now in from the six o'clock corner. There go a couple of lava hounds and a couple of balloons right after. Queen is now busy. Is he going to use the skeleton spells already? Yeah, there he goes. Rage spell, sort of catching the Laloon, but of course mainly intended for the skeleton spells to be able to put out some more damage. Um, Sloon's sweeping through the base once again in the clockwise fashion. So clockwise fashion is, uh, guys, if you want to destroy Mariana Trench bases, go in clockwise fashion. <laughs> um, no, but we've seen it in a couple of attacks now. So, uh, yeah, I thought I'd mention it for no reason at all. The attack um, getting a bit slow towards the end. He only has a heal spell left, no more rage or haste spells. So we are going to two, two. going to watch it in two times speed is what I meant to say. <laughs> And um, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this one. So great job to Niklas getting the late 10v10 this war. Very valuable for us. That's sort of, um, I think that pretty much already wrapped up the win for us because at that point we were already in the lead and one more 10v10 sort of, sort of wrapped it for us. Um, yeah, so this war was actually, I don't know, I felt pretty comfortable uh, throughout the entire uh, war. I was... Uh, it, it was pretty close, the score was pretty close all the time, but we crushed it on the Town Hall 9s, crushed it on the 10v11 early, uh, sort of struggled with the last base, the last 11 base that we faced. But um, yeah, nice performance to the team, and for that reason, I never really, uh, I was never really afraid we were going to lose this war. Felt pretty comfortable, although it was closer than. Um, yeah, I probably felt, but um, anyway. So uh, the last 10v10 we are going to check out for today is the fourth one that we had, and it's going to come by Lee, aka Oscar, on number 10, Alex, right here, with the Queen Walk a Dragon Attack. So um, as I already mentioned, Mariana Trench with a lot of air defenses on one side of the base for, um, yeah, anti-Laloon bases, of course. So 
and for that reason had to come up with some different and creative strategies and for this one dragons uh, was the choice um, very nice to be able to take out that cannon over there actually before um, he um, had to um, engage the queen King is only meant to create a funnel, a little a mini kiwi walk at the bottom there with the king and wizard and now all the dragons and balloons are in. You are always using balloons with dragons because um, those balloons are just so much quicker and stronger at taking out defenses and yeah, definitely nice to get the archer towers out of the way quickly. Um, dragons, as I said, in being pushed back by the sweeper but they are all very close together which is good for a dragon attack. Heals by right in the core, actually his dragons did not take too much damage up until that point so... I'm not sure if the heal spell was needed. I guess it negotiated that black bomb over there a little bit, so that was a nice thing. Queen surviving the entire raid uh, until up until this point. He's gonna use... Ooh! <laughs> another rage spell. I actually did not watch this attack yet. Uh, gonna use another rage spell, but just a bit too late, so... This would have been an uh, even bigger kill if he uh, yeah, would have used that rage spell a bit earlier. Kept the queen alive. So, um, at this point... Um, yeah, looking a little bit tough, but that dragon over there is going to be the real MVP of this raid. Take out that air defense, that rage spell was insignificant, and um, yeah, that's going to be it. So a dragon 3 star by Oscar right here, very cool attack. Getting it done on number 10, and there is one more attack left to watch in this war, guys, and it's going to come by Bucket. And it's going to be a 10 versus 11, actually, on number 4 right here. TS getting taken out with a very cool attack, I think. Um, so yeah, he's actually going to start things off. You get you see, you see he's using a queen walk, black bomb over there. A bit unfortunate for the baby dragon, uh, fresh hit. So he did not knew about know, know about that black bomb. Um, you see this attack with five feelers, so it's going to be a queen walk. But he's actually going to start off with a golem and bolus from a clan castle. So don't see that too often. But in this case, um, it was just needed for his funneling. So taking out all of those trash buildings over there with the the rage gobo, I want to call it. Um, Getting all of the trash out of the way, then the troops are sort of going to peter out and he's going to be moving in with the queen and queen walk uh, around the rest of the space. So there he goes, queen is in, the healers uh, are obviously in, the eagle artillery is active throughout the entirety of this queen walk. So that's interesting, I think, um, definitely going to be interesting to watch how he's going to deal with those eagle blasts because obviously those do so much damage. Um, so whenever you're engaging that and you are also engaging point defense, it's going to be tough. So he's probably going to have to rage his queen throughout the entirety of this raid pretty much. So there goes the first rage spell. You will have noticed that he already lost the healer. So he's down to four healers at this point in time. And the enemy king, level 42 king, is smacking queen in the face now. So uh, definitely going to get the raid, next rage spell down pretty soon, I would assume. Uh, no, he's actually going to wait. Looks like the healers are going to be able to keep her up. Um, against that uh, level 42 king and also against the eagle artillery blasts now he's not engaging very much point defense so he's good to go and queen is going to take out the eagle artillery that's a bit slow so let's speed through that real quick there we go eagle artillery is out of the way the healers has got one blast so whenever they catch a red bomb it's going to be trouble from now on uh, queen is going to do some more work up top he's going to be very patient and have the queen take out a lot of stuff over there before he's going to use any other troops there he goes. Okay, so once again, gonna keep it uh, fast uh, at fast forward a little bit. He's, uh, I watched this attack previously, so um, yeah, only the queen only taking out trash. One Valkyrie to uh, test the pathing, and then the king and all the rest of the Valkyries are now going to move in. To get the town hall out of the way, obviously, a percentage no problem for this one because it's already got a bunch. The queen jumping into the town hall compartment is very nice because, yeah. For that reason, the Valkyries are going to spin close to the Town Hall and take a look. His level 30 king is also doing work. Bucket man, go farming and uh, get your king upgrade. Um, yeah, so the time almost over for this attack. Over 60% on this um, base with uh, yeah a nice queen charge. Very cool plan. So definitely thought I'd share that with you guys. That's going to be it for the attacks for this recap. And that's going to bring us to the stats, which I'm, of course, going to read out as usual. So. Um, Obviously, we cleared the 11s, we cleared 10s, but 1, yeah, so we had 1 tunnel 10 left standing, shout out to 100 um, for surviving, um, they cleared our 11s, obviously, and then they had 1, 2, 3, 4 10s left on the board, so that was the entire difference in the score already. Um, for dips, we went 10 out of 10, so perfect dips from DLZ. That's something new as well, so <laughs> yeah, we certainly like that. They went 8 out of 10 for dips, so there's the difference already uh, as far as 2 stars go. And then we had um, 4 
tunnel 11, uh, tunnel 10 versus 10 triples. They had three tunnel 10 versus 10 triples. So yeah, that's your three star differential right there. Two more successful dips for us and one more 10v10. That was the war. Tunnel nines performed well on both sides. I think ours were a little bit better still. But yeah, shout out to Mariana Trench. Always fun warring you guys. We definitely enjoyed it. That's going to wrap it up for CWL Invite Week 1 from DLZ. Guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Until the next one, I will see you all later. Peace out.